so many times I've been alone in my life, but now I found a reason to be smiling. You came into my world and then you turned on all the lights just when I was really getting tired of trying. All the time I've been waiting for the summer sun to shine on me. Hi everybody, so today I thought I'd make a puppy training video because obviously I've got these two new puppies if you've seen my last video <laughs> they're great fun but they're full of beans and they're definitely in need of some training now before I start training any animal I like to think about what's the end goal you know what would I like these two to be able to do and for me that's going to be I want them to be able to come out riding with me, to be able to follow along on the roads, um, on trails, on tracks. So a lot of that work is about not being on a leash. So that's really important when I start to think about how I'm going to train these two puppies. So I started off already, right from the first day I got them, and I got them at uh, eight weeks old, little tiny puppies. They were so, so cute. Um, and what I've been doing is I've been taking them out into the field, and I've been letting them just run around, so not on a lead, but in a safe environment. And then every time they've been coming back to me, I've been giving them a treat, okay? And what that does is that helps them to engage with me straight away. So they're already keeping a bit of an eye on me, um, which is gonna help me later on. So I haven't started to do much training with them. They've done two sessions with me, and I thought I better start videoing quick, because otherwise you guys are never gonna believe me that they haven't done loads of training, because they are so smart. You will not believe how clever these two puppies are. So I just wanted to say a big shout out and thank you to Natural Vet Care for sending me these products. Um, it's not a paid endorsement in any way, but I have been using their mobility on my rescue pointer who had been run over before I got her, and it's worked wonders on her joints. And so they really kindly sent me this, this is junior joint, joints for the two puppies. So I'm definitely going to put them on it, as obviously I want to make sure that they're strong and healthy and are able to cover the mileage out with me on the horses. And so yeah, so thanks ever so much. So the first thing we need is treats. Because we need motivation, don't we? And for puppies, obviously, they kind of motivated by play and by toys. But they're also motivated by treats. As you can see, the boss here is fairly full on, but he really loves these. These are like mini milk and bones. So I've been using these. Come on, Nancy. Put Nancy in the kitchen for a second. Ready? Good boy. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So trying to get him to be quite calm, because being a visitor, he's kind of fairly full on, isn't he, as a dog? So you want to make sure that he doesn't get too excited too quickly. Because <laughs> he's trying to go through his whole repertoire of tricks. But I don't want him to start to anticipate, so I'm just going to reward him again for sitting back up. And then we might look at doing the down, because I think that's quite good. He's already showing me that he wanted to do it. So down. Let me down. Down. Good, yes, good boy, good boy. That's a good boy, good boy. Oh, Nancy wants to join in as well. All right, <laughs> good book, Dan. So what I'm also looking at doing is I'm also going to start to use sign language to teach him the cues as well. Because thinking about it, when I want to work with my horses at the same time, I already use word cues for my horses, and they've already learned those. So rather than retraining them as well, or getting in a big muddle with what word cues mean what to what animal, I'm going to start off using different um, sign language cues for Douglas, so that they learn not only just off my voice, but they also learn um, what a sign cue is as well. So let's skip this again. Okay, let's try the down. Sit down, and I'm going to point my finger. Good boy, good boy. He is so smart. I mean, he is really, really clever. I mean, I have only done this genuinely hand on heart. I've only done this twice with him before. 
and he's just been lapping it up. He's really, really keen. He really wants to learn. So I'm going to try and make the most of it. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to start teaching him to do, good boy, is to talk, because I thought that'd be really fun. <laughs> so my sign cue is going to be this. Good, yes. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to give him the sign cue. Speak. 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 Good, yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. So this time, I'm going to see if you can do it just off my sign cue, okay? <laughs> Just like horses, where they go through their whole repertoire of skills to show you how brilliant they are in the hope that one of them is the right thing. But we want to be patient, we want to make sure we wait for him to show us the right cue at the right time. Okay, good boy. Okay, so it's just off the side of you. Yes, good boy, good. So you can try just off the side of you. Yes, good boy, good boy. Dogs are just so intelligent, aren't they? It's amazing. Good boy. So this is one he's only done once before. So we can get him to give me a paw. Good boy. Doggy. Paw. So although he's gone straight into a down, I want him to try and problem solve his way out of it. Just like with horses. Yes, good boy, good boy, good boy. So because he's learned how to be motivated and how to try and work something out, he's already trying to show me all these clever things. Good boy, good boy. Well done. Okay, let's try and mix them up a little bit and see if he's really got them. Good boy. Let him finish that chew. Okay, what's this one? He's dropped a few little bits of crumbs. Biggie, what's this? What's this? What's this? So where he's doing the wrong thing, I'm just going to say. Yes, good boy, good boy. So just ignoring it when he gets it wrong and just holding out for that time when he might think, ah, oh, it's the other one, it's the one where I have to make a noise. So it's really important to keep rewarding them for the simple things as well. So even though he's just doing a sit and that to him is obviously quite easy now, I want to make sure I keep rewarding that because it is important to recognise and try. And while they're learning, they can get a bit confused. So you want to make sure that the basic ones are really, really good. And then hopefully that way, we we'll always make sure we've got those basic levels in there so that later on, as things get more difficult and more complicated for them, they still understand how to win at the task. So they still understand how to then keep problem solving and to figure out what it is that we wanted. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, let's try a different one. Should we try a different one, Dougie? Shall we? Stay. 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 No, I don't want him to lie down. In the way. Stay. Yes, good boy. So it had to be pretty quick. I knew the stay wasn't going to be for very long. But it's those moments when you can just get a few seconds or even one second and reward that. The next time you'll be able to add to that and it'll be two seconds and three seconds. Good boy. Okay, Dougie, sit. Good boy, stay. Yes, good boy. So you told that time he was a bit better again. Good boy, Daddy. Good, that you're sick. Yeah. Stay. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. You're so clever. Good lad. Okay, we're going to go back to another simple one again. So let's see if we can to go down. Daddy, down. Hardman, his little friend, wants to join in. Down. Good. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to add a new trick in there. Let's see if he's going to roll over. So what I need to do is I'm going to give him a cue, which is going to be my finger doing this. And then I'm going to see if I can get him to start to do it. So all I'm going to do is to start off is try and get him to follow the tree so I can get the shoulder or his hips to go down. Yes! Just like that. Good boy! Good boy! Well done, Dougie! Good lad! Okay, so Dougie's going to start off and sit. Good boy, sit. Okay, good boy, sit. Good lad, well done. Good boy, well done. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> it's like a my reader. Good boy. Okay, now let's try this roll over again. So I'm going to roll. Roll, but I'm trying to get to follow the tree. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm always starting from that sit position. That's going to be like my neutral. Go okay, down. Good boy. And then roll. Oop. Ah, cheeky. Roll. 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 Yes, good boy. Good boy. Clever boy. Good boy, good boy. So I'm going to sound really pleased with my voice, but I don't want to make him overexcited. You know, middles are full of beans, they're full of energy, and just like Dalmatians as well. So you want to be quite careful that you don't sort of like too much rough and tumble, because I don't want him to go crazy about it. I want him to just enjoy his training and enjoy learning stuff, um, but keep quite calm as well. Good boy. Okay, start off with him back there. Stay. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop. Good boy. Good boy. 
So then I kind of had to settle for the down. Um, I would have liked him to have stayed sitting, but I felt like I was just being a bit nitpicky and probably asking too much too soon. So I think it's okay to accept that for now. And then in time, I'll be able to correct that and make sure I get the sit cue. Let's see if we can combine another one. So now he's up there, let's see if we can get him to speak. Ready? Speak. I'm looking at my hand going, I know what that means, I know what that means. Good boy. Okay, we'll try one more, and then I think Dougie's probably done enough. Good boy. Paw? 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 Yes! Good boy! Yeah! Oh, you are so clever! You are so clever, aren't you? He is such a smart dog. Such a clever boy! So you want to make sure we keep these training sessions really short. So he does lots of playing outside, he runs around the fields lots. Um, but then we just do sort of five or ten minutes at a time, bring him in, do a little bit on his own, and, um, and then hopefully he'll be able to do all these things out and about and in different environments. Good boy. Mwah, love you. Good boy. So now it's Nancy's turn, and she's a very different character to Douglas. She's a little bit more shy than Douglas, and um, I think being a lit from a big litter, I think that's made her a little bit more sort of standoffish. So everything she does is a lot quieter, which is quite nice. Um, but a little bit different to work with. So I'm just taking it a little bit slower with her and we're just going at her pace, really. Um, I don't mind how quickly they learn things. It's just about getting there eventually, isn't it? So let's face it, we've got the next 12 to 14 years to get there, haven't we? So let's have a little play and see where, where she's at. Again, I've only done a couple of sessions with her already and I thought I'd better start videoing. Okay, so she's already in a sit, which is lovely. So I'm gonna give her a little reward for that. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. And we do exactly the same thing, so we use those hand cues as well. Down, down, down. So there where she's sort of half dry, so that paw in that position, down. Yes, so I'm going to reward that. So even though she did go right down, I actually would have rewarded quite happily just for her putting that one paw out in front, because that's kind of the step in the right direction that we're looking for. Good girl, well done. Oh, you are so clever. Oh look, and there she's trying to show me that she could give me her paw as well, so let's put that one in there. Good, good. So I'm going to ask for this hand, paw. Yeah. Well done! So I kind of just took a natural behaviour that she was trying to do then anyway, and I'm just giving it a cue. Okay, let's try again. Paw. Paw. Yes! Oh, you're so clever! You're so clever! Good girl, yeah, Nancy. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try that other one again. Let's try down. <laughs> Take a little bit of chewing these biscuits. Down. Yes! Well done! Good girl! You can see she does everything a little bit more dainty, a little bit more refined. Good girl, well done. Oh, well, I'm show you that one, away. So when they show you something like that, you see how she's pouring at me? It would be quite easy to, for that to turn into something that we didn't want. And when I'm not asking for it, when it's a training session I'm not asking for it, I'm just going to ignore it because I don't want to kind of put her off trying. She's only just trying to show me how she could do something in, in return for earning a treat. So I'm just going to wait, wait till she's quiet again, and then I'll give her something different to do. So let's go back to that down, down. So I didn't ask her for the paw then because she was trying to do it anyway. So I thought oh, I'll just get her to think about something else so that it doesn't become something she just pours at me when she wants something. Okay, let's try a little roll over with you as well. So again, get the finger working. See if we get to do it. What I'm trying to do there, see there, yes, good. Good girl. So all I did was just get her to follow that treat until she followed it into that lying down position. Good, good. And eventually she'll understand what rolling my finger means. Roll over. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's get her back up. Sit. Nancy, sit. Nancy, sit. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Well done. Oh, I think she's pretty clever as well, isn't she? Sit. Good. Down. Down. Good. 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 Okay. Roll over. Roll. Roll over. Roll over. Nancy. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Yes, good girl. Good girl. And this is the first time I've ever asked her to do this. She's not done this one before. Good girl. But I think when they have that motivation, and we have a good relationship already, I've just been letting her play, and they've been you know, cuddling me loads, and yeah, just being able to be themselves and let their characters evolve. And they're really wanting to sort of interact and wanting to learn stuff by this age. So it's a great time to start putting in some proper training. Good girl. I'm not going to give her a treat for giving me her call, because although it's very nice, <laughs> I didn't ask for it. So let's sit, sit, Nancy, sit, sit, good, yes, now pour, pour, so there where she made a mistake and she lay down, I'm just going to wait and see if she can figure it out, can she figure it out, pour, yes, good, 
Good. So I didn't correct her, I just waited to see if she could problem solve her way out of it into the right action. Good girl, so clever. Down. Good. You are, oh, we missed it. Ah, oh, you are so clever, little one. Oh, we love you, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Roll over. Roll over. Fancy. Roll over. Roll over. Fancy. Roll over. Roll over. See how she's got her hips a little bit wrong. She's going to find it difficult to roll over like this. But we'll see if she can just figure it out. I'm just going to give her a second. Yes, good. <laughs> she's a pretty agile little puppy, so it's not surprising she can work it out, is it? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I haven't put either of my puppies on a lead or anything yet. Everything's been free because when they're coming out with the horses, they obviously can't be on a lead. So I don't want them to learn lots of on the lead control stuff at the beginning. I want them to learn that their life is free, um, but becoming well-trained and obedient is going to mean they're going to have so much more fun in their life. Because I definitely think well-trained animals have the most fun. I mean, let's face it, if you don't have to be on a lead and your dog can just trot along behind you and come with you everywhere, that's just the best life for a dog, isn't it? Nancy, Nancy. Can you speak? What's it? Can you speak? Can you speak? What's it? Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you speak, Nancy? Speak? Nancy, speak? Speak? What's it? What's it? What's it? Can you speak? Come on, you get a bit excited. Can you speak? Good girl, can you speak? Good girl, can you speak? Can you? Yes, good girl, good girl. You really have to tune into these little tiny tries because those are what's going to keep her wanting to try. Good girl. Good girl. So you can see how some tricks come more naturally to dogs than others. And it's exactly the same with horses, cats, whatever animal you're trying to train. You know, some of them find certain things a lot easier than others. And for Dougie, speaking was something he just picked up straight away. Whereas for her, that's going to take a few more goes. It's quite nice when they don't get it straight away because it gives you something to work on, doesn't it? Okay, let's try another one. Sit. 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 Good, yes. So again, coming back to that easy trick that she knows. <laughs> there she is trying to show me how to lie down already. Good girl. Okay, let's see if we can teach you to creep. Let's creep along the floor. So I'm going to use a trick. Creep, 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 creep. <laughs> Good girl, you're so smart. So when you have a trick that they really like, you know, it's quite easy to keep them motivated and keep them trying. We just kind of want to go through these tricks quite quickly. You don't want to spend too long lingering on one, trying to perfect it. Because at this stage, I mean, they're only... They're 13 weeks old, so at this stage, nothing's going to be perfect, is it? It's just going to be a try and a bit of fun. And um, we want it to be like that, don't we? We want it to be just a good, fun experience. Good girl, well done. Okay, try another one then. Get it. Paw. Yes, good girl, well done. Oh, you are so clever. You're so clever. Okay, let's try roll over again. Ready? Oh, we'll let you eat that treat. Must remember not to always go too fast. I'm quite... I tend to go through things quite quickly, so it's... Just gotta make sure I'm a little bit steadier. Okay, roll over. Nancy, roll. Roll over. Yes, good girl. Oh, look at you! Look at that! <laughs> so I think that's gonna be a more natural trick to her, isn't it? Good girl, oh, well done. Oh, well done, Nancy, Nancy. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. You're such a pretty girl. I think I'm gonna leave it there today. I think they've both been absolutely brilliant. And this is only their third time trying. Some of these tricks are really, you know, the first time I've tried it, Nancy. <laughs> I think rolling over is definitely something she's going to enjoy doing a lot of. I think with all puppies, especially at this age, when they're 12 to sort of 14 weeks old, you know, they can sometimes throw things at you that you don't really want them to do. Um, so, for example, one thing is chasing the cats. You know, <laughs> I don't know if it's an inbuilt thing in dogs, but they just like chasing cats, don't they? And so I have had a bit of a strict moment or two with them about that. And I think that's probably the one thing I am quite strict about is that they mustn't chase the cats or the birds. So the turkeys mustn't get chased either. And all I've done for that is I've tried to act quite similarly to my other dog. I noticed Inca and Tati, who are my other two dogs, my little Dachshund and my little Wirehead Pointer. You know, they both have two very different styles of training the puppies or teaching the puppies what they want them to do. And now Inca is, um, she's very direct, so she'll growl at them and she'll tell them. And then she's really quick to sort of just pin them down and be like, go, no. And the puppies have learned really fast to listen to her. Now, they're not frightened her of her at all. Um, but they do respect what she says and they do listen to her. So like when she doesn't want them to get on her bed or to climb in on top of her and that sort of thing, she's just like, Grr! and then pins them down like this. Okay, and so that's what I've tried to mimic because Tatty, my other rescue pointer, 
she has completely the opposite tactic. She does a lot of growling, she's like grrr, constantly at them. But she has no follow through, she doesn't do anything to them, she just literally growls. And so they don't pay any attention to her whatsoever. I mean, Douglas, he just gets in bed with her, <laughs> he sits there, and he's like, go on, let me hug you. And she's making this horrendous noise. But because she has no follow through, they don't have any respect or um, they don't listen to what she says. So it's quite important. I tried to sort of notice that. And I thought, when, I, when they're chasing the cats, or when they go after the cats, I want to be more like Inca and less like Tatty. So I don't want to give it a lot of noise and be a lot of shouting at them or anything like that, which might not have any effect. So I'm really quick. I notice, I make sure I'm around. And Louis is obviously quite well trained anyway. Um, so when they have gone after the cats, I've grabbed hold of them and I've gone, Argh! no, I told them off really quickly. Um, very short, very sharp, and I've just grabbed them by the scruff of the neck and pinned them down a little bit and said, don't do that. And that's the one thing I've been quite strict about because I don't want them to learn to chase the cat. Everything else is just good fun and play at this stage, isn't it? Hey, yes, Mwah. gorgeous puppies. <laughs>